Hi everyone! Today I'm going to explain how the Chernobyl reactor worked and what happened to it. Why I'm deciding to do this, you ask? <laughs> because I like science. That's why I'd also really like to use my monstrosity of a PowerPoint project for my 11th grade final chemistry project, which was on uh, renewable energy sources. Surprise, surprise. How does this connect to Chernobyl, you ask? Because I decided to put a whole paragraph about it in there just to have an excuse to talk about it. As you could guess, half the class fell asleep while I was reading this, so, you know, might as well repeat history. The Chernobyl reactor was a graphite moderated pressure tube reactor, or better known as an RMBK-1000 reactor, that works in the way of moderating and slow slowing of neutrons being produced and released during fission from the radioactive decay of U-235, or better known as uranium-235, that is used for the reactor core, thus maintaining an efficient energy cycle. The Chernobyl reactor worked by pushing water through pipes to be heated by the reactor core through its meltdown process. The core has fuel rods enclosed in pipes called technological channels. Control rods made of boron and graphite tips are put next to these fuel rods to control the reaction, stopping it if the rods are in place or speeding it up when they're not in place, which then pushes the water through the process of pressure to steam generators, which turns the water to steam, thus powering the plant. The issues that led to the disaster of Chernobyl was caused by poor operation in an unsafe reactor model. The combination of graphite moderator and water col colant is found in no other power reactors in the world. As the Chernobyl accident showed several of the RMBK's design characteristics, in particular, the control rod design and a positive void coefficient were unsafe. This excerpt is from the World Nuclear Association RMBK's reactors and appendix to nuclear power reactors. The reactor was pushed to the brink through the main operator of the plant, um, can't say that, wanting to reach a deadline goal and thus pushing the new workers in the plant to perform tasks under pressure that they barely practiced. Here is an excerpt from the HBO series Chernobyl of how the reactor exploded, explained by Valery Legasov. I tried my best. At 1.2340, Akimov engages AZ-5. The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Why? Why? For the same reason our reactors do not have containment buildings around them, like those in the West. For the same reason we don't use properly enriched fuel in our cores. For the same reason we are the only nation that builds water-cooled graphite moderated reactors with a positive void coefficient. It's cheaper. The first part of the rods that enter the core are the graphite tips, and when they do, the reaction in the core, which had been rising, skyrockets. Every last molecule of liquid water instantly converts to steam, which expands and ruptures a series of fuel rod channels. The control rods in those channels can move no further. The graphite tips are fixed in position, endlessly accelerating the reaction. Chernobyl Reactor 4 is now a nuclear bomb. 1.23.42. Perevoschenko looks down on the enormous steel lid of the reactor and sees the impossible. The control rod and fuel channel caps, which each weigh 350 kilograms, are jumping up and down. He runs to warn the control rod, but there's nothing he can do to stop what is coming. 1.23 and 44 seconds. The steam blows more fuel channels apart. We do not know how high the power went. We only know the final reading. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. The pressure inside the core 
can no longer be held back. At long last, we have arrived. 12345 explosion. In the instant the lid is thrown off the reactor, oxygen rushes in. It combines with hydrogen and superheated graphite. The chain of disaster is now complete.